Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharika Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquats, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson is News Update. Um, Crow Judgment Approaching. Okay. And as you can see, there are lots of things going on in the world. But, you know, as there are lots of things happening, there are also lots of um, distraction, which is a technique. The so-called white man, which is biblical um, nationality, is Esau Edom, the ones in power. They use this technique to, to take your attention away and make you not see what's going on. But, you know, if you have um, the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, dwelling with you, and your eyes has been, has been washed with the high salve, then you can see clearly what's going on, you know? Remember, the scripture tells you that before we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Now, I have, I have some, um, I have some, some some articles i would like to read and this is from sky news it says sri lanka food crisis how shortage of four and rising prices affect entire economy okay so i'm not going to read this to not keep it too long you know because i still have some videos to play um <laughs> people don't really understand the, the gravity of this crisis that's coming just because you walk into the supermarkets and to the grocery and you see um, they still have some things on the shelf. But what you should expect is very soon all that supply is going to be cut out. OK, now, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't move well, if you don't dance to the rhythm of Esau Edom, the so-called banking families, the so-called white man in power, you know, which are the devils the Bible speak about. If you don't dance according to his rhythm, then you can't eat. Now, I just want to make something clear. Not all so-called looking white people are of the root of Esau, Edom, the root of the wicked. We have also our people who have been mingled around different parts of the world who might be looking like them. We have people all around the world living in different countries looking like the countries where they find themselves. So it's not a thing of, um, of either um, you're so-called white or so-called black, you know? It's not a thing. It's something that has to do with the spirit, okay? Because we also have the so-called blacks who are actually pure Edomites, okay? So it's something that has to do with the spirit. But then we know that the banking family, the prototype is the so-called white man. That the families that are ruling the earth today is the so-called white man. So these are the devils that the Bible is being spoken about, and they have their minions, they have their, they have their, their, their off, offsprings, you know, for lack of better words, you know, that they are also Edomites. You know, judgment is coming through these people. The Most High has used them as an instrument to bring judgment to the world because the famine crisis that you're seeing right now is all being designed purposely, you know, in order to fulfill their 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 nwo in order to fulfill the great reset you know in order to fulfill um the the the, the next step which is the the karagma okay the motb the mo to the tb you know that thing that's being spoken of in the book of revelation the 13th chapter the 16th verse you know so they need they need to fabricate this um this hardcore farming you know in order to have people, you know, on their knees begging for it. Let me get another quick. This is Nigeria. This is from Bloomberg. It says Nigeria is first 
nation to ground flights as full costs saw. Now, the question you should be asking is, how come? Because Nigeria is a full producing country, you know? But what people don't understand is, these countries are actually in the pockets of the, the, the so-called white man, the banking families that rule the world. You know, Nigeria is a private property, you know? All these, um, all these, um, what do you call them? Oh, I can't remember the word I'm looking for. Anyway, all this huge, um, all this, um, oh, well, let me put it like this. All these corporations that are all down there, you know, fetching from the crude oil and doing all that trade and all that thing, you know, they don't do it for the welfare of, of Jake's that are there. But Jake is proud. Oh, my country, my country has, uh, is one of the highest important countries and this and that, you know. <laughs> but that's foolishness because all your country produces is not for your good, man. It's to take care of the of the of the elites of the world, okay? So you see, and Nigeria, as I as I as I heard, Nigeria is one of um, the countries with the highest numbers of um, of private jets because you have so many that are doing the bidding of the devils right there, and they get real good pay, you know. So it says Nigeria will become the first nation to ground flights on Monday as surging prices of aviation fuel makes businesses unprofitable. Airline operators will discontinue operation nationwide. Okay, until further notice, the union said in a statement, it's the latest sign of the widespread impact that Russia's invasion of Ukraine is having. The war has caused massive disruptions to energy markets with Russian feed stocks used to produce jet fuel and diesel becoming untouchable for many parts of the world. China has also cut its oil product export quota, limiting supplies. The loss of 3.2 million barrels a day of refining capacity in the, pan, um, on, in the pandemic, okay, years also doesn't help. Now it says Nigeria's 23 airline says they have been subsidizing flights for the past four months and can no longer absorb the cost after the price of aviation for more than tripled to 700 naira, which is um $1.68 per liter. It says jet fuel makes up a significant proportion of input cost of airlines. Any, cha any change is ex uh, in expenses can drive up ticket prices that could put travelers off especially in price sensitive markets okay many of the airlines are running at a loss already said victor n Wezo, vice president operations at lagos based tour operator leisure Afrique. any further price hike will kill their business he said by phone so you see i'm just going to stop there you know and once there is um once there is a problem with the with the transport system, it means that goods can't be taken from certain points to other points. And you know, Nigeria depends totally on um, on imports of goods. And that's one country that's really I don't really understand. You know, the elder Posto Taha made a lesson with with with, with the issue some I think last week. You know, Nigeria depends on imports. <laughs> they don't produce anything they don't they don't farm they don't do anything all in just small scales you know and what um the powers that be in nigeria who are actually puppets in the hands of Esau Edom, you know um they've been they've been creating some kind of um some attacks on people who are willing to farm you know they send this um this um these terrorist groups i'll just put it like that hopefully these people don't chip my video they send these groups you know to attack farmers to destroy their crops to do, to destroy everything you know and thanks to uncle bill you know uncle bill has been dining with the with the with the with the, with the billionaires of, of of africa the billionaires of nigeria the top men of nigeria uncle bill has been dining with them putting them through on how to create this um starvation that's going to come upon the face of the earth, you know? So you see, the people that are going to fall victims to all this are those people who don't know the Most High Yahweh and don't know his son, Yahweh Shai, who's our mediator and our savior, you know? They are all going to die painfully and slowly, man. And this is the judgment from the Most High Yahweh Shai because people don't really have 
a minimum idea of what's happening yet okay just like i said at the beginning of the video just because you walk into the grocery and you still see stuffs on the shelf you know you think everything is fine okay let's see let's get another another article this is this is here in italy okay it says chigolani says we are in war economy that's what it means and mind you um switzerland and germany are already um sounding the alarm of um of danger okay they're already telling their, their their population to stockpile okay i had the article but i i, I can't find it anymore but it, there's an article that came out a few days ago you know so they are already warning their citizens their their people you know to stockpile that famine is coming <laughs> And that's Germany that's supposed to be the giant of um, of Europe, okay? This is the, the devil right there, you know, doing the bidding of, of, of Esau here in Italy. But what they do is they're preparing your mind so you shouldn't look like they didn't tell you. So it says we are in a war economy. These are the words of the Minister of Ecological Transition, Roberto Cingolani, in his speech at the Chita Impresa um, Festival. On a second recovery, the committee is discussing why a European issue is coming forward. Chigolani said, in this war economy, it, incl it included some countries will be much more affected by these energy choices than others. It says, but what does war economy mean? Prime Minister Mario Draghi, three weeks after the beginning of the conflict in Ukraine, has also talked about it. We are not yet in a war economy, but it is good to prepare. <laughs> so you see what these people are telling you? They, 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 they don't want to cause that, that um, panic that's going to make people go gaga. You know, they don't want to cause that panic yet in which they'll still, they'll still do it. They don't want to cause it yet. You know, uh, we're having some problems. You know, we don't want you to feel like there is a huge problem, but uh, we advise you to, to take some steps, to stockpile and all these things. You know, it says, after two months, the consequences of the war economy begins to present themselves with an increase in the cost of living for Italian families that translates into an increase in expenditure and energy bills. Man, people in Italy right here, right now, if you go to if you go to Milan, you know which is one of the the big biggest cities of 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 Italy, you know one of their economical cit cities, okay. In Milan, you have the citizen queuing. I mean kilometers, man, for food. People have lost their jobs. People no longer can handle their businesses because the 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 the, the energy prices are, are they've gone crazy, man. It says. The war economy is financed with taxes and public debt, resulting in, in a growth in the inflammation rate that is difficult to bring below the attention span. The cost of the shopping cart is bound to increase as is the prices of raw materials. But you see, the funny thing is, Jake, and when we say Jake, it means the sons of Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos. These are the Israelites. Then you have Israelites spread in all different parts of the nations, looking like various countries where they find themselves. These sons of Jacob are the foolish, the most foolish people on the face of the planet because they don't know what's going on. You know, they have their their award shows, they have their celebrity shows, they have their sports shows. And they have all these different kinds of madness to distract them from the from the thing that's going on, you know. And these people are in for a rude awakening because, you know, the apostles, starting from the elder apostle Taha, you know, he's been out there for decades, man, you know, close to 40 years. And, uh, and the other apostles under him and the rest of the elders, the teachers, the brothers, you know, people have been out there on the street teaching this gospel for years. But people have been closing a blind eye, you know, calling them all sorts of names, you know, trying to to diminish um, what they say because they are drunk off the philosophies of this current society that we're living. Okay, they're drunk off the the the, the they drunk off the philosophies of um of Babylon the Great, which is America, you know, which it has changed. America has changed the law. All America has done is only introduced lawlessness, man, you know. He says, among the products that have increased the most is in, in the last month due to the war in Ukraine, according to Ultra, ultra Consumer, are uh, zero, 00 flour, 
that's plus 6.2 percent and coffee plus four percent the cost of gas has queen to plate it since the beginning of 2020 the 21 let's look up that thing queen to plate it it says consisting of five parts or things which means the cost has risen five times more since the beginning of 2021 hey we're in for 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 a crazy one man you know and that's good you know just going to play some videos that i have on deck and now This is um this is somewhere I believe in um in South Africa. I don't I don't know where it actually is, but the video is recent, you know. So as you can see, people are breaking into shopping malls, you know, and packing up things, destroying things, you know, and it says, this is Africa 2022 coming to a town near you. Okay. The system is breaking, you know, and <laughs> all hell is about to break loose, man. I really don't have enough words to say on this, you know, all hell is about to break loose, but the people are crazy. They don't know what's going on, you know? Let's keep playing. Let's just play it. Hey, 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 So as you can see, these people, they're actually pushing for all these things, you know? For, for lawlessness so they can bring out of this chaos so they can bring order okay now the scripture already warns us about these times you know that's our job you know to well the scripture that i have on on, on the screen right now is the book of zechariah 13th chapter in which it's not really part of what i wanted to use but it fits in because you know I, as i was saying earlier that um lots of our people are going to die and it's judgment from the most high yahabah shimi Shai. it's the most high that's going to you know cause this judgment for these people because they've refused to hearken to the truth while we teach them they've refused to search seek for the most high yahabah shimi Shai. they rather chose to follow the ways of the devils that are in power so it says and it shall come to pass that in all the land set Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Okay, so two parts of our people in Babylon are going to die, man. And all around the world, our people that are all around the world, those who don't receive the truth, who don't call on the true name of the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, who don't sincerely walk in this truth, they are all going to be cut off, man. You know. If the Most High has ordained you from the beginning to, to this destruction, hey, be sure that you're going to get every full detail of the destruction, man. You know, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, verse 16. It says, when I, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you. I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. So you see, so he says, So I will send upon you famine and evil beast, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I'll bring the sword upon thee. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. So you see, that's why, you know, we're, we're getting rid of your blood off our hands. We're going out week in and week out till the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushai permits us. You know to teach this truth to call you to the to wake up to your to your heritage you know but our people are deeply asleep man they don't really give a hoot about what we're saying you know they they, they believe they believe the so-called white man that's taking them slave 
you know, that has, that has always lied to them all their lives, that has poisoned their mind, poisoned their system, always destroyed them, separated them, you know, they believe he is, he is God, you know, so good luck to you that you're still thinking all that thing, good luck to you if you're still going to all these churches in which these churches are all bought, you know, they have, they have, they have, they are in league, they, they are in bed with the, with the devils and the powers that be, you know, that's why they don't teach you the truth. That's why they, they don't teach you the, 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 the true names of the Most High and His Son. That's why they don't, they don't teach you the, the, the true appearance according to the Bible of His Son. You know, that's why they lie to you. They don't teach you that this Bible is actually a historical book. You know, this is the book of um, Ezekiel, always chapter 7, verse, uh, read verse 15. It says, The sword is without and pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilences shall devour, devour him. Okay. So you see, there is no way you can escape from what's about to come. You know, lots of people are prepping up. You know, well, it's not bad to 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 buy some few few things. You know, you can buy some more things. You know, you can stock up some food. You know. There's nothing bad in doing that, but you know, if your trust is on that, if you're stocking all that thing and you don't have this truth, man, you just be sure that you're stocking it up for someone else, you know, because this is how it is. If you don't have the true, the true name of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, if you're not trusting the name to protect you in this time to come, and you're leaning to your own power, you're leaning to your own understanding, uh, just be sure that you're doing all that preparation for someone else, you know. This is the book of, and now let me just, let me just play this video, you know, and there is a scripture that I'm looking for, I'll bring it out, um, the devil knows that he has for short time, mad man, let me see if I can find it here. You know, it's in the book of Second Esdras, you know. Um, please bear with me. Oh, well. Okay. Khan. This is the book of Revelation 12 12. But before I read it, let me play this video. This is the latest from. This afternoon, the Secretary General and Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, will, sign a, will witness the signing of a memorandum of understanding on a strategic partnership between the UN and the World Economic Forum which outlines areas of cooperation to deepen engagement between the two institutions and to jointly accelerate the implementation of the 2030 agenda. This after to, 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 <laughs> did you hear what he said? To accelerate the implementation of the 2030, um, what do you call it? Listen carefully. Deepen engagement between the two institutions and to jointly accelerate the implementation of the 2030 agenda. So they want to they want to accelerate their agenda and what's the agenda you know you can go ask klaus schwab he'll tell you what the agenda is you know to 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 to, to turn you to the machine man you know <laughs> you can go ask him he's going to tell you real well <laughs> what the agenda is okay well you see our people are blind they don't know what's going on they're absolutely naive about what's going on they don't know what's going on they think it's all going to be uh, the hip hop videos and all that madness, you know, for, for eternity, man. You know, this is the book of what we just watched now. These people know they don't have any time. They have an agenda and they have plans to follow. But what they don't know is they are being instruments in the hands of the Most High to bring down this havoc, you know, because the goings of men are all determined by the Most High, Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Now, this is the book of um, 
Revelation 12, verse 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, which represents the sons of Israel, those who have those who know the most high Yahweh Shem Shai, those who are doing his will to the best of their ability, you know. And it says, And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitant of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time, you know. So if you're if you're rejoicing in this truth, in the return of our Savior, Yahweh Shai, you know, this is the time you should you should you should you should rejoice because you know the signs are all coming to happen, or the signs of, of the end, as written in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, in which we're we're going to get the book of um second Esdras now, you know. Because our heart is actually not set to this kingdom, our heart is actually not set to this world. We don't care about you know don't having any top careers or whatever you know we're just living you know we're just trying our best to live you know praying for the kingdom to come real quick you know and those who have actually who love the earth you know because the scripture tells you that you should be in the world but not of the world you know those that are of the world of the earth you know it says you know <laughs> woe unto you man and that woe right there if you go into it you know it says um it says woe the destruction man you know there is no much here to see you know it says woe to the inhabitants of the earth for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time these devils don't have any much time you know that's why they have to really push all this agenda and create all this they stabilize everything you know burn up um greenhouses burn up your food storage you know buy up the whole land and destroy crops they have to do all these things just to get you on your news because when the people are vulnerable they easily accept what's proposed to them this is a technique but that people are worried about other things they're worried about fighting for the alphabet people agenda they're worried about the lgbt or whatever all this they're worried for about all these things but they're not worried about their own salvation they don't see what's coming man you know but as usual as the scripture says those who are meant to receive this truth they will receive it man you know romans 11 7 if i'm not mistaken it say can it says what then israel had not obtained that which is seeketh for but the election had obtained it and the rest were blinded okay those whom the most high yabashim yashai wants to open their eyes to receive this truth to understand what's going on they are definitely going to receive it, you know, and the rest are going to be blinded. Just like the world is in great darkness, man. The people are blinded. Now, this is the book of Second Esdras, chapter 8. Um, let me just speak. Let me start from verse, verse 55. It says... And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. You know, because many of our brothers are going to perish. The last video I did is a wickedness that's been done, carried out by Jake's, you know. And I said, you know, many of, of our brothers are going to be dying in these last days that we're going into, you know. Cru cruel death, man. Wicked death. The most High is going to be judging people, man. In some kind of gruesome ways you've never seen in your life before. You know but you shouldn't feel sorry for them you know because they've had their chance you know so here it, we, we've been told that we shouldn't ask questions concerning that multitude you know the most i would take care of them let them keep doing their wickedness it says for when they had taken liberty they despised the most high yahweh shim shai taught scorn of his laws and forsook his ways you know now they have the, the chance to seek the most high Yahweh Shem Shai, but they've refused. You know, they've, they've, they've scorned at, at the apostles, they scorned at us. You know, they see us on the streets, you know, teaching in our garments. They laugh at us. They do. They say all kinds of wicked things against us, you know. They, 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 they threaten us and all these things, you know. They forsook the ways and we are we're actually prophets. And this has always been, been something normal with the Israelites. You know, Yahweh Shai say, um, oh, oh, Jerusalem, you that, uh, that persecutest um, thy, thy prophets, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And he says, moreover, they have trodden down his righteous 
and said in their hearts that there is no God, yea, and that's knowing they must die. Because many don't believe that there is, there is a God, man. They don't believe that the Most High exists. They don't believe there is a power. But what they believe in, oh, you know, they believe that you die only once, man. When you die, you're gone, and that's it, you know. Some, <laughs> man, people are crazy, man. So that's why you really don't need to feel for these people because judgment is coming upon them, and heavy judgment, man. It says, for as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai really doesn't want, he doesn't want to see Israel suffer, man, because Israel is the apple of his eye. You know, the Most High loves Israel. You know, Israel, you, you say, um, um, the book of Isaiah also tells you that the, the Most High is, is wary, you know, roughly paraphrasing, of chastising these people, man. You know, the Most High doesn't wish our death, but saying that, man, these people are actually wicked, they are more wicked than the wicked, then this is the judgment that the Most High has prepared for them. It says, For as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught. So all this farming that's coming, starvation and all these things, time, time is coming when people will start eating people. Cannibalism is going to come back to full, to full, um, what do you, how do you, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's going to be again in vogue, cannibalism, you know? So all these things are coming. It's all destruction from the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. It says, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. This, these are children, ungrateful children, man. You know, ungrateful people. Because the Most High Yah, Bashem Yahushai, have prepared, have, he has sent his prophets to always warn them before destruction comes. But they refuse these prophets. They take them for granted. This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9. I'll read from verse 9. It says, It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. You know, they shall be in pitiful ways, man. Now they've abused the ways of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. They prefer to do their rap videos and chase their careers and do all that madness that the world has to, to, to offer them. They're not seeking for the kingdom of heaven. They're not praying for the, for, for the kingdom of heaven to come. You know, they shall be in pitiful ways, man. You know, and they shall, they shall dwell in torments, the torments that are coming, famine, sword, pestilence, you know. He said, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loaded my ways, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. He says, the most must know it after death by pain. So you see, so all these destructions that are coming, all these famine that are coming, they are all prepared for those who rebel against the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? You know, they are all prepared for those who who who, who purposely who purposely um what's the word I'm looking for for those who purposely you know they know this truth you know they take it for granted or they've never you know find their time to seek for this truth man they're all about making money 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 and money you know now for we. Through the spirit, the hopeful elect, you know, that we are seeking the most high with all our hearts, you know, all these works that we're doing, going out to teach, you know, carrying this 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 duty of this evangelism and making it the priority of our life, praying for the kingdom to come. The most high is going to compensate us in, in due time, man. You know, the, the book of Psalm 91 tells you that a thousand shall fall at thy right hand, ten thousand on your left hand, you know, they will never come night day, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, the Most High will protect us through, through those times. Why? Because we've kept the word of His promise. So you see, this is the book of Job. I'll just read real quick. I'll start from verse, verse 19. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven they shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. 
thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of the destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shalt not sin. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, and thine offspring as the grass of the earth. And this is talking about when the kingdom comes. But before the kingdom, it says, you know, in times of destruction and famine, we are going to laugh. The most high goddess, man, you know. So the writings are clear on the wall, you know, destruction is coming, you know. That's why the title says, Crow Judgment Approaching, you know, and the, the wise ones are going to seek repentance now, you know, and start walking, learning this truth, you know, stop calling on the, on the false names and come out of their false religions and seek the most high in hum humility uh, and, and, and in truthfulness, you know. So hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Waharu Kakudash Shalom.